Once a rebel, always a rebel. Look back in anger, not me. Yet no one utters, let them eat cake. You've never had it so good. Don't let the bastards grind you down. A working class hero is something to be. I'm free. I am free, aren't I? This question uh, concerning me being free. I'll tell you what I find. Being free for me is all a state of mind. Working all week, acting out a role, avoiding the dole. Somebody's got to pay for the coal. Then Friday night and the weekend's parole. While I've got a vivid imagination, that's pretty much all I've got. My mind's either free or it's not. Otherwise I'm trapped, strapped, a relentless stagnation, being ground down by those freer than me. But I'll show them what they're refusing to see, turning a blind eye. I'll smash it all up. I give you my word, it's too damned absurd. I'm as free as a bird. Watch me fly. We sat alone in our boxes, met in a place that was neither here nor there, visiting a city that lived on screen, that lived in every century and decade, in our own flashbulb moments, as somewhere we could be captured in fresh air, written a blank page, becoming free. I am the ground, beaten, stained, scraped, Panicked hooves grip me, held captive in death. Once a medieval meadow lane, I capture freely grazing animals, breathing and stretching, flanking Trent water. Open to sun's blaze, misty filigree dampness enfolds. Struck barriers. Hammered iron, now replace ancient oak. Constrained tarmac, bitumen laced, entrap, imprison me. Rough men sell flowers, fruit, and choice cuts of meat. Numbers, financial services, that's where I was at. That was me, but neither a borrower nor a lender be my number. Is up. There is a for sale sign for all to see. This bank is closed. This is a closed bank, an ex-bank. This bank has ceased to be. What will be my fate? What does the future hold? I'll just have to wait until that sign says sold and see what my new owners want. Pound to a penny, I'll be a Michelin-starred restaurant. How likely is that? A dream come true. Not very likely. Between me and you. I am dead, buried beneath myself, wary from century years of watching lovers kiss to part, locked lips unclasping like rusted padlock stringing Wilford Bridge, worn from frozen air and rush of waters off the Trent. I have counted the years in departure dates, lived my life to the timetable letter, each torn off calendar page thinning to this, the final day. I have embraced the bulldozers, the city planners, the artists who have reimagined me as a concrete phoenix, my broken brick feathers flaring to a facade of glass. They have given me eyes to see outside myself. I am a lover appreciated at long last. I have locked my lips with time, taken the fast bus to the date of my departure to arrive at my future self. I am free in the year 2010, running breathless and parentless through the market square fountains, old enough to waste the day roaming, young enough to relish in the splashing of cold water on warm skin. We are best friends for now, and that is all we need. 
It's 2010, and these ten girls giggle in togetherness. Drenched and loud, but there's courage in this crowd. And we think nothing of the stairs, because it's 2010. We are young and fun and free. Blaring of tram horns, the vast metal slug lugging along its iron route, carriage full of travellers who, departing at the same stop, trailed to an uncountable multitude of destinations. The hodgepodge waft of all the world's cuisine steaming out the open doors of Hockley, faint undertones of fail from favourite pubs and air which besides the food is fresh and crisp and clean. Water endless flowing from kitchen taps, tasteless, but for a metal tank shred of rust, without which we would drink by buckets and ceaseless fountain in the market square, which around our cities domed, countless tendrils of snaking roads, reaching from its hot heart toward dark alleys and canvas fields, the vast web of places to go, which back toward the centre spin. Prominent on the cityscape, a beauty and eye-catching shape. Its white OG cap, an iconic tower, delivering different grades of flower. As the feathered fantail steers the furrow through the gears, sails crank and crack to hoist the grain in the sack, through the trapdoor releasing the hall on the dust floor, into bins and off again, hopper sieving chaff from grain. Wind caught, in the canvas sail, the mechanism does not fail. Brakes, levers, ropes and stones, the mill working undertones. Beams and shutters and spindles twist and turn the mill to the grist. The governor regulates the speed, bolter and horse all stampede. As meal is delivered down the chute, passing damsels and gents salute. From the gallery, Miller's view, the sails set, still blow a kiss at you. I am free here in Rob's records. Here is Mississippi, New Orleans, Manchester. Here are the infinite worlds of music. A welcome smile, a shoulder hug. Here is the scrum of a crowd, a jukebox turned up loud. Here are 45 revolutions per minute, my reflection in the shine of final black. As a thousand memories come flooding back, these crowded racks, this space where time is suspended, upended, Worries put back in their place. Here is poetry that hangs in the air. Here are three minutes of I don't care. Here is my past, my now and where I will be. Here is the eternal scream of freedom. The song that lets me be me. Unassuming during the day, I come alive at night when throngs of music lovers nourish me with their anticipation for tonight's headline band. November 2020 was to have been a mighty celebration. 40 years of playing loud at the best live venue in the UK. I just had a major facelift too, a new dance floor. Hundreds bought souvenir sections of my legendary sticky floor, but no one's dancing now. Covid, a tiny virus, put me out of commission. I'm a cavernous, gloomy, lonely space, with only the memories of bands that played before, running through my mind on pause, rewind, play. I hear a vaccine's imminent. Soon we'll be full to capacity. Bass beat pounding, lead guitar soaring, mosh pit moshing, crowd surfers surfing, the whole crowd singing and dancing, the roar of Rock City in full throttle. We sat alone in our boxes.
met in a place that was neither here nor there, visiting a city that lived on screen, that lived in every century and decade, in our own flashbulb moments, as somewhere we could be, captured in fresh air, written, a blank page, becoming free. <laughs>